Mate, first question, how does that feel? Oh, I'm one of the fortunate ones in this group to have experienced this place before, but I've never really felt it like you have tonight. To watch boys become men over the course of 12 months, the effort and determination within this group should never be underestimated. Wow, wow. I was going to say the adversity you've overcome this season. And even tonight, losing Lance, you know, you, you just you just find a way. This group can find a way. We've been finding a way for the past four, five, six weeks. That's why we knew we could uh, grind that result out. Look, I've got to say to Wigan, wow, they were unbelievable. To play at that intensity with 12 men shows what they're all about. But ultimately, you know, we just had a little bit too much in terms of desperation tonight. What will this do for this group of St. Helens players and the club in general? Well, I spoke a number of weeks ago when we won the League Leaders' Shield about that being potentially a catalyst for more success. Look, I will be around here in three, four, five years, whenever it may be. But I'd like to think this experience for the likes of the Tommies, Johnny Lomaxes, Mark Percival's, Louis, go on and on. You know, that puts them in good stead for the future. Looking at the game in general, wow, you had to dig deep to win that one. Yeah, we did. We never expected any other way. You know, if winning grand finals was easy, everybody would do it. No, we got, in, we, we, no, we got into the reserve tank tonight, but it's only worth it. I guess you'll enjoy it tonight as a group, as a team. Oh, yeah, and tomorrow as well. You know, we've wasted a long time for this. How will supporters have? You know, the, the playing squad changes over the years, but one thing that doesn't is that you know, our group of supporters, they've suffered enough at this stadium. How much for them tonight? How does that feel? Oh, I can't put into words. I've gone for that many emotions. We've had eight to minutes. It's, it's been unbelievable. It's so worth it now. We know we've had a, we've gone through so much adversity. Every single person's got us off them. You know, we've come up here with all the good on the big stage. It's a brutal 80 minutes out there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You know, fair. Don't pay credit to Wigan. You know, losing, losing the man so early on and tang in there like they did. You know, it's credit to them. But you know, back to those boys. Stuck together. Stuck to his game plan, and we came good in the end. I suppose only time will tell. But what do you feel this win and this trophy? And this occasion will do for this group of Saints players. You know, it's the start of a new era now. We've, we've made a stamping down tonight and it's just going to get better, better and better, you know. We're losing a few of all the boys, but we've got so many young boys coming through and, you know, there's a good feel about the place and there's going to be more, more to come, more to come. Did you ever doubt you could get here and win this trophy throughout the course of the season? No, we didn't. You know, obviously, you know, we're losing the personnel that we did. You know, we're tough, but, you know, we're, we always had an inner belief and, you know, everyone was off, like I said, but... We as a team, team know what we had to do to win and we've done that. You sort of got used to that adversity, so when you lost Lance Araya, who's quite pivotal in your team, you know, you, you were able to regroup and rejig and find a way again. Yeah, we won, you know, and that's credit to the boys, obviously. We had to reshuffle things, but we got there in the end.